Hello and welcome back to Ready Steady DIY. If it's your first time here, thank you for joining us. If you've already subscribed, thank you for subscribing. So as you know, a normal drill bit can make holes in one size, the diameter of the bit. A stepped drill bit can make and widen holes in a wide variety of sizes. This particular stepped bit, the Irwin number no. four stepped bit is my go-to bit in my kit. I use this bit all the time. It has 12 steps. Each step is one eighth of an inch deep. That means it can create 12 different sizes of holes, perfect holes, in any material that is up to one eighth of an inch thick. I don't use it so much in wood, but I use it all the time in plastic and metal. If you've never seen a stepped bit before, if you don't have one in your kit, they're a little expensive, but they're super useful. I want to tell you all about my stepped bit today and why I like it so much. So if you're down for that, stay tuned to the end. For now, let's get going. <laughs> This is an Irwin brand stepped bit. There's a lot of brands that make stepping bits or stepped bits. I'll leave an Amazon link in the comment section below if you wanna see how much it costs in your neck of the woods. Essentially, as the bit moves into the material, the hole expands with each step. So you can use it to create a hole or you can use it to widen an existing hole. It does a really good job at making sure that material that otherwise would crack or split easily doesn't. The great thing about the stepped bit is because you have to go through each step in order to get to the diameter of hole that you ultimately want to make, you're never taking too much material out at one time. I find that pretty convenient. The other thing is that the fluting on a standard bit is spiraled and that helps bore the bit into your material. Particularly if you're drilling through metal, when they get in there, sometimes they can grab onto the metal and cause it to spin. That can be really dangerous. I find with this particular stepped drill bit that that happens a whole lot less. If you're looking for a stepped drill bit, of course you can find them at big box stores, but I bought this one at a professional electrical supply place. Stepped drill bits are really, really popular with electricians. A stepped drill bit allows an electrician to drill the correct size hole in a panel or a junction box and within reason you can create a whole bunch of different hole sizes without having to change drill bits just center punch wherever you want the hole to be start drilling go we've created lots of ways as human beings to create holes but when you need a stepped drill bit to me nothing else really compares a stepped drill bit is not easily sharpened one side typically does the cutting Obviously, the first number of steps on your bit are gonna go through more layers of material than later ones, so they're gonna get dull first. And once that happens, sharpening the bit is pretty tough to do at home. One way you can avoid that is just by making sure to use cutting fluid anytime you're cutting metal, which stepped bits often cut through. You can create overheating in your metal, you can warp the material, and you'll dull the bit. So find some cutting fluid to cool the point at which the bit makes contact with the metal as it's slicing through it, and you'll elongate the life of the bit and save your material from warping. The other downside to the stepped bit is it's expensive. I'll leave an Amazon link in the comment section below. Suffice it to say they can be a little expensive. That's for sure. If you remember my video about a raised bed garden, I used the step bit to drill holes in the bases of the galvanized tubs that I put the garden in. And I experienced a fair bit of tear out on the side opposite to which I was drilling. If you get that, and it's pretty common using a stepped bit going through metal, all you gotta do is flip the metal over and bore it out from the other side. That'll deburr it and make it pretty clean. Another trick I like, particularly when drilling through plastic, is to drill right down to the step that you want so that you get the whole size you want. And once you're there, it's kind of useful to push just a little further, just a little bit into the next step. And what that does is partially bevel the edge of the hole so you can wind up with a little taper. That makes the hole look nicer. It also helps you recess any fastener that you're putting through it. Obviously not meant for every application, but it's kind of a useful element that the step bit provides, something I've found convenient over the years. So how about you guys? Do you use stepped bits when you're creating holes? Do you go with something else? Leave all those comments in the comment section below. I wanna hear. And with that, I'll sign off for this week. Thank you so much for listening to the end. I really appreciate that. And if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate that too. So that's it for this week. Take care, stay safe, have fun with your DIY projects, and I'll see you next Saturday.